Good morning, Home Economics 11. This is Teacher Rika, and today we're going to enumerate the different personal protective equipment used in baking. The very first when it comes to PPE in food industry is the hairnet. Hairnets keep hair away from food and keep equipment clean. Hair restraints also help food workers to stop touching their hair when they work with food. Also, hair restraints prevent hair from getting caught in the food processing equipment. Next is the non-slip shoes. Non-slip shoes help to reduce slips, trips, and falls. The slip-resistant grip on the tread of the shoes helps the wearer stay on their feet when walking on wet and greasy surfaces. Also, we have respirators and face masks. The respirators protect wearers from breathing in hazardous contaminants in the air. Respirators are required equipment for workers performing some jobs in the food sectors. Disposable face masks such as surgical or medical masks are not respirators and they do not protect the wearers from breathing in small particles gases or chemicals in the air. Disposable face masks act as a protective barrier to prevent splashes, sprays, large droplets or splatters from entering the wearer's mouth and nose. The protective quality of disposable face masks varies depending on, on the type of material used to make the face mask. Disposable face masks also help prevent the wearer from spreading respiratory droplets. We also have cloth face coverings. Uh, cloth face coverings are not respirators and they do not protect the wearers from uh, the expo exposures. Cloth face coverings are only intended to help contain the wearer's respiratory droplets. When it is not practical for wearer to wear a single cloth, face coverings for the full duration of the work shift, particularly if they become wet, soiled, or otherwise visibly contaminated, a clean cloth face covering should be used and changed out as needed. Of course, apron is always part of our uniform and food industry. Wearing an apron prevents your food coming into contact with the dust, dirt, ha hair, germs, or whatever else might have been floating around you throughout your day. Apron can protect your cloth or uniform from stains. And of course, it serves as barriers to prevent mi microorganisms uh, from, from the food. Another very important personal protective equipment in baking are the oven gloves and the other types of gloves. An oven glove or oven mitt is an insulated glove or mitten usually worn in the kitchen to easily protect the wearer's hand from hot objects such as ovens, stoves, and cookware. We also need dish washing gloves to prevent our hands from dish washing liquids and chemicals when washing the dishes. We use plastic gloves to handle ready-to-eat baked products and we use surgical gloves when designing cakes with icing. Lastly, we need towels. We may assign color codes for towels according to their uses. In our laboratory, we use white for utensils, green towels for drying hands, and red towel for wiping tables and counters. Now let's review. The personal protective equipment used in baking are the following. Number one, hairnet. Number two, non sleep shoes. Number three, respirators and face mask. This includes disposable face mask, 
N95 and cloth face coverings. Number four, apron. Number five, oven gloves and uh, other types of gloves such as dish washing gloves, um, plastic gloves, and surgical gloves. And lastly, we have towels, which can be assigned color codes for the towel according to their uses. So those are the personal protective equipment. I hope you learned something today and uh, always remember your dreams are possible and I'll see ya on our next lesson video. Bye!